Hello and welcome to another tutorial, this time covering flashes and molotovs on the map Cash. I feel covering flashes can be difficult as there's almost an unlimited amount as they can just be thrown in multiple ways off every wall in different situations and kind of still work out. So I'm just going to be going over the ones that I use frequently enough that I remember them and I know they work. So starting off, probably the most used flash on T side, just bouncing them off the wall when pushing out of mid fast. The second one being deeper and able to blind people when they're in the corner. Although most smart players on CT will be running up mid backwards to avoid this anyway. This one being useful if it's late in the round as you don't want to be bouncing it off the side here. So instead of throwing it up here, won't give them a chance to turn away. As you can see, it's a pretty good pop flash as they can't see it until it's too late. On CT, if you want to rush up mid and push through the garage door, this can be useful by running and right clicking. You then have to turn away to avoid their flash as soon as possible, and then you can charge straight through. By the flash landing up here, it's going to blind all of the people in garage for a good few seconds, and most people don't expect it. While playing short, you can pop flash yourself out by aiming and throwing off this white vent. Most people, when playing the A bomb site, bounce a flash off the wall here, which is useful, but it's also quite easy to see. You can also bounce a flash off the vent here to flash A main. If you're playing in the corner, or as most call it NBK, then you can either flash off the bottom of the vent, or if your team is actually coordinated, then you can just wait with your back turn so you don't get flashed, and then flash off the wall yourself. And of course, lastly, the same as playing the A site, if you're at quad, then most people just flash off the wall again. A good one here to peek mid from connector is just to bounce it off the floor. This one is pretty essential for mid players who have had to fall back to CT early in the round. This one is usually quite good if you're on eco and playing close to the B entrance as you can just listen then bounce it off here and peek. While playing in vent room or checkers depending on what you call it, if you're in this corner here you can flash B halls really well by aiming in the corner as it's a really good pop flash as they don't see it until the last second. As when they're standing here they don't actually see you throw it. You can also do it on the other side as well, and it just works really well. This pop flash is useful if your teaming is wanting to push B, especially on Ecos, as you can get your team to line up close to the wall here without being seen, and then you just need to bounce it off this wall. It blinds basically everywhere in B. You also have the traditional pop flash here, but then somebody might see you cross the toxic. Using this flash to bounce outside of the door will basically flash anybody playing the A site from all directions if they're peeking out. Due to where it lands and that it pops at the very last second, you can't really avoid it. Well that's it for the flashes, so now moving on to the molotovs, this is going to be to molotov the vent. So firstly lining up with a faded white line on the floor, and then aiming on this chimney, while keeping it in line with where the green starts on the wall. You then just have to take a couple of steps before throwing, but it's quite hard to mess it up at this point. So these are going to be a few molotovs that you can use from Toxic into B site. Obviously you have to make sure that you've broken the window first or they won't work. Lining up with that line on the box and then just left of that indent will let you throw an easy molotov to headshot. Standing in the middle of the gates here and then lining up with the top of the indent here will allow you to molotov the back left of sight behind the box. I'm quickly just adding this one in case somebody didn't know that if you're in this corner here and you can hear that it's going to be a B split through vents then you can molotov the whole of vents by just throwing it under it. These are just a few ways to molotov sandbags when you're out at mid as I've been in many situations in the past where I wanted to molotov there as I know someone was there but they always failed. So firstly if you're on the boost then you just need to line up so your crosshair sits nicely on this vent. It's good as they won't be able to see you throwing it either. Next, if you're stuck in the corner below boost, then the same applies aiming at the vent, but this time just a bit above it. If you know somebody is there and you're stuck around this position at vent, then it's just as simple as bouncing it off the wall. So I want to quickly go over how to aim when Molotov in the boost fast from mid connector like this, so it covers everything. It's not necessarily difficult, but I do see people fail it quite a lot. So when you're running out, you want to be aiming your crosshair in line with the edge of the building at the back and roughly where it lines up with the roof above the boost. And then you obviously have to throw this before you get past the fence and then get to your position as soon as possible. 
So doing it fast, it should look something like this. And lastly, this is just a situational Molotov that could be useful where the bomb is planted in the default position and there's maybe limited time left and you could Molotov it from main. So that's it for this video. There's hundreds of more flashes that are available, but these are just some that I use. The next tutorial video will be on Mirage. Goodbye.